Hey, it's all bringing the word of Warcraft. It is January 6, 2017, and it's time for all the news that you didn't really pay attention to. Landmark, an MMO designed to support the now-canceled EverQuest Next game from Daybreak Studios, and a kind of predicted move is going to shut down in February. It's unfortunate that now there's another thing to add to the pile to the list of uh, MMOs that didn't quite make it, that ended up going free-to-play, or ended up just kind of taking a dump on their quality, or in this case, just getting shut down. As for why this is related to the world of Warcraft, Here's my take. EverQuest and other games like Ultima Online were considered, you know, really big juggernauts during their day, their their generation. EverQuest 2 and to a much larger extent World of Warcraft, they define uh, this current generation. And with the World of Warcraft still totally dominating, you can say that maybe, kind of, sort of, we're still there. Of course, there are other great games that have been able to carve their own space. Games like EVE Online, Final Fantasy XIV, and of course there are so many others that are doing just fine. But I do have to wonder, and this isn't so much fact, it's more feeling, and I just want to get your guys' thoughts. Did World of Warcraft just kind of spoil the industry? Like, did the overwhelming presence of WoW kind of stifle out any any real good chance at competition? I do wonder if there wasn't something like as big as WoW, like like let's say that, that WoW and Final Fantasy and some of these other big players, let's say they were kind of even in their space and people were just kind of going back and forth playing what, whatever, and essentially these games were fiercely competitive with one another. They were trying to revolutionize or innovate on top of each other, um, you know, because competition is healthy, right? But anyway, not to knock on the game that I play so much, but I do wonder, you know, if and when WoW does get to a certain decline, like it goes down to like current EverQuest levels, like there's only, you know, a handful of players is playing, but the servers are still running. What's going to be the new giant thing that's totally dominated in the space? Or is, you know, is a World of Warcraft-like subscription base, is that ever going to happen anymore? I am a little curious about the future of the genre itself, so hey, if you want to talk about it, just leave a comment below. I'd love to see some conversations about it, and I'd like to dive in. And now back to direct WoW news. Uh, 715 is going to drop on January 10th, as predicted. A preview video, which I believe is narrated by Jeremy Fiesel, is available in a link below, and I also did a review of the patch, also in a link below. Hey, that saved some breath, I can move on now. Diablo 3's 20th anniversary has leaked its way into the world of Warcraft in the form of a pretty small event. The easiest way to do it is thankfully easy, all you have to do is queue up for a dungeon, complete it, and you're gonna see a treasure goblin. Kill the goblin, loot the stuff, a portal appears, jump into the portal, you go somewhere, kill everything in sight, loot some more stuff, and that's about it. It's kind of funny because during the alpha and the beta, the treasure goblins, they would spawn every now and then, or like for a little while they were spawning and people were just like flipping the hell out. They're like, oh my god, Diablo is literally, you know, becoming, becoming Legion. It's, you know, World of Diablo, and you know, people were just pretty upset about it. So at least off the top of my head, I don't know what the actual intent was, like if Blizzard really did intend to have treasure goblins in the World of Warcraft, but the fact that they're just here temporarily, and by the way, the event is only until the 9th, so try to take advantage of that really quick. The fact that this event really is short and is very unimpactful to gameplay just makes this nice and short and sweet. Unless you just hate Diablo, then too bad. Finally, in a bit of PvP news, and it's a little confusing, I'm actually looking at the statement here because I'm still trying to digest like everything that's uh, that's being said here. It seems Blizzard had shorted out a lot of PvPers from their possible Gladiator rewards. What's cool is that it looks like Blizzard is going to take that system, they're going to scrap that, they're going to go back to the old one of... that. Well, th I mean, they're still going to have like faction-based rewards, but they're going to give it out to more people like they did before. It looks like a week or so ago, Asmongold posted a video kind of complaining about the low turnout of rewards that were given out. And I didn't watch the video fully, but it looks like he's just wondering if this was intentional by Blizzard to have such a low turnout, or if it was a bug, or if it was just a screw-up. Well, we have your answer. It was a screw-up. Whoops. So that pretty much wraps up the news for the week. If this dry bit of news was at least informative to you, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in any of my other content, including video essays, some ranting here and there, features on up and coming WoW YouTubers, and, well, stupid stuff, hit that subscription button. It keeps the lights on. It keeps me fed. So I'm out for the weekend. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys the day before the patch. I'm Soul. Stay breezy, guys. Hey, baby guy. Aw, oh, where's the. Where's the stop button? Uh-oh.